This is a screencast on calculating distance. A runner has an average speed of 8.2 meters per second. He runs for 7.5 seconds. How far has he gone? In this problem, we notice that the average speed is given is 8.2 meters per second. Average speed has the letter S, so S equals 8.2 meters per second, and again, this speed is an average speed, so I'll make a note of that. The other information in the problem is that the time that the runner is running is 7.5 seconds. So t equals 7.5 seconds. We're looking for how far he's gone. That would be the distance d. The equation that involves average speed, time, and distance is S equals D over T, or average speed is distance divided by time. In this problem, we're solving for distance, so we have to do a little algebra. To solve for D, we want to multiply both sides of the equation by time, so we'll have S times T equals d over t times t. We notice that the t's cancel out on the right. This leaves st equals d. So now we can plug in the distance we're looking for is the average speed 8.2 meters per second times the time of 7.5 seconds. Here we notice that we have a seconds in the numerator and a seconds in the denominator which cancel. We multiply the numbers and get 61.5 meters. Now let's look at another problem. That has this calculate uh, distance also. A car that is traveling north has an initial velocity of 7 meters per second. It speeds up at 3 meters per second squared for 5 seconds. How far has it traveled? The initial velocity, v naught, is given as 7 meters per second To emphasize that this is initial velocity, not average speed, I'll indicate initial velocity. The other information given in this problem is the acceleration, which is 3 meters per second squared. We can tell that that's acceleration from the units. Speeds and velocities have units of meters per second. Acceleration has units of meters per second squared. 
The time is also given, and that is 5 seconds. And we're looking for the distance. It might be tempting to use the, uh, d the equation we used in the previous problem, s equals d over t, but that won't work here because s is average speed and we were given initial velocity. So we need to find an equation that involves these uh, four variables, and that is d equals v naught t plus one half a t squared. We don't have to do any algebra this time because the problem of the equations already is already solved for d. All we have to do is plug in our numbers and we've identified what letter goes with which number up here. That's a good idea in problems so you uh, be sure to plug in the right thing in the right place. So we plug in the v naught, which is 7 meters per second. The t, which is 5 seconds. The a, which is 3 meters per second squared. And the t squared, uh, t is 5 seconds, and that has to be squared. I put parentheses around the 5 seconds because this indicates that both the 5 and the seconds are to be squared. Now I can fo follow the order of operations agreement by multiplying before I add. When you multiply the 7 times the 5, you get 35. We notice that the seconds cancel, leaving us with meters. And in the second term, we multiply 1 half times 3 times 5 squared, which is 37.5. And here we have second squared and second squared in the numerator and denominator, so they cancel, leaving us with meters. When you add two things together or subtract two things, they have to have the same units. Here, both of them have units of meters, which is good. You add these together and get 72.5 meters.